Now to our big story at five, the vice president, president's son, and the president himself. All this week will be in Battleground, Wisconsin, and we've got a new poll that just came out. The Real Clear Politics Average of Wisconsin. Poll, that poll there puts Joe Biden ahead by six points. Now that same lead Hillary Clinton had in the 2016 average, our Jason Kelby brings us today big story from Janesville. <laughs> His job on the line. Because I want to be your vice president for four more years. Vice President Mike Pence campaigns in Wisconsin for a second Monday in a row. And the road to victory runs right through Wisconsin. He again brings up Kenosha. Whether it's in Los Angeles or Rochester or Kenosha, we are going to back the blue. The latest Marquette poll finds 54% of Wisconsinites disapprove of the president's handling of protests. His highest mark comes from his handling of the economy with 52% approval. You know, four more years means more jobs. Four more years means more judges. Staff checked everyone's temperatures before they could enter. Now, many of the people listening inside this hotel banquet room were not wearing masks. The governor mandates them with exemptions. So it's on, Wisconsin. Democrats criticized the vice president's trip. People in Wisconsin don't feel safe, especially safe from COVID-19. Uh, they don't have the job security they once had, uh, and they don't trust this administration to do the right thing, which is why we desperately need new leadership. And Democrats have done very well here in Rock County. Governor Evers, Barack Obama, Supreme Court justices all winning this county by roughly 60 percent. But there was one fluke, and that was in 2016. Hillary Clinton won Rock County by just 51 percent. In Janesville, Jason Calvi, Fox 6 News.